Welcome to Advanced Solutions How To Session. Today's session will cover Understanding Summer Reader's Facebook Feature. To begin, we'll sign in to our staff side of the Summer Reader program. In doing so, I'm going to type in my administrative password. And I could either hit the Enter key on my keyboard or select Login with my mouse. Once I'm within the program, I'm able to come up to the toolbar and I will select System Maintenance. Under System Maintenance, I have many options. For today's session, we will go under Programs and we will select Edit Programs. From the Programs box, I'm going to select my Book Bugs program that I have already created. Now you can set up the Facebook feature as you're adding a brand new program to your system or you can go in and modify a current program as we are doing in this session. If I scroll down, it's about mid-page to the registration settings. Under registration settings, the very last option that you have is the Facebook integration. The default for this feature is no. But as you can see in this particular program, I have turned the feature on as yes. If I select edit language, it would allow me to edit the verbiage that the patron would see when the option appears to add to Facebook. So as you can see here, my default is add information to Facebook. If I wanted to make modifications, I would just de delete the current default and make my modifications as needed and then I would select Save. Other options that you do have, you would select Facebook Configuration. Once you open up the Facebook settings, the defaults for each one of these is No. But as you can see from my program, I currently have them as Yes. So we have the option for Staff Side Prompts, Program Registration, Log Entry, and Review Entry. Now, after this session, if you forget what the definition of each one of these are, you can select the question mark, which will prompt a definition for that particular feature. So as you can see, the staff side prompts, it says, if enabled, staff receives prompts to post to Facebook on the patron's behalf. If disabled, staff will not receive the Facebook prompts. Once you're done reviewing this information, you would simply close and you're back to the Facebook settings. So that very first one is just saying, do you want your staff side to add information to someone's Facebook? In this case, I'm going to go ahead and select No. The next feature that we have is Program Registration. Would you like a Facebook prompt when the patron registers? And in just a few moments, we'll go check out what this looks like when a when a patron registers for a program, how it will appear on their Facebook site. But if I come over here and I edit configuration, you will see I'm now able to create some defaults as to how it will appear and read on Facebook. So the first one here is the message prompt. Basically, what's on your mind? Now, as you can see in mine, I've already typed in a message that says this box is the message box just so that you could see it when it will appear on my Facebook page but when you get your system these fields will all be blank with the exception of the caption field so here in the message box you most likely will leave this blank so that your patron can type in their message the next field is the title box and then we also have the title link so I can have a link that would link back maybe to my home page of my library or maybe to the link of the actual program so if another patron that was viewing your current patron's information they could easily go to that site. And then we have the caption. So we have actor, which would be the patron, registered for the program name and then it would have your library's name as well. What you're seeing here with the carrots next to them, those are called tags. And those tags represent fields within the system, and they will pull the defaults out of the system. The next section you see is the description. And as you can see, I have a generic description, but you could type in more detail that would appear on the Facebook page. 
and then you have your action title and an action link. So there again is another link that your patrons could potentially go to your website versus maybe going to the actual program. And then you can also include an image source and an image link. And as you can see here, I just pulled an image from Amazon.com. Once I select Save, when a patron registers, that information will be displayed on their Facebook page as you've seen it within the edit configuration. Look at an example in just a few moments. The next option that you have is the log entry. Should they receive an option to post a Facebook entry when they're creating a log? And as you can see, I have it as yes. And if I edit configuration, I have all of the same options. So I can add information about the log. So they can put in their message, they could put in a title, and a title link, caption, description, action title, action link, just like we saw in the previous section. Once you're done making modifications, you would just select save. And last but not least, you have your review entry. By selecting yes for review entry, this means when they put in a review for one of their books that they're reading, they would be able to post this to their Facebook as well. So if I go under edit configuration, it's exactly what we've seen before, where you can populate this information and it will appear when they select the review entry. I'm going to go ahead and close. Once you are done with your Facebook settings, you would just select save and then you would scroll to the bottom of your programs and you would want to make sure that you're saving your information again for the program. Now that we've looked at the staff side of the Summer Reader program and we made modifications to my Book Bugs program, let's go over to the Patron side and we'll register a patron so that you could see how it appears in Facebook. Here we are on the Patron side of the Book Bugs program and as you can see that's the tag that I'm currently on. Now I'm going to go ahead and select, select me for sign up. And we're going to register a patron really fast. So I'm just going to go down the list and update the required information. And those of you who are not sure what the required information is, it's any of the items with the asterisks next to the field. I'm just putting some generic information to suffice the system for now, but as you can see, one of the last fields that I would have the option of modifying is add information to Facebook. So we're giving the patron the option to let their friends know that they're signing up for this program. If our patron was to select yes, and of course they have to select their log type and put in their patron goals, and select save, it'll let the patron know that they've successfully registered, but once we come into their home page, they're now able to either sign on to their Facebook site if they weren't already inside their Facebook or it'll ask them to put in what's on their mind and all the information will appear that we had just populated on the staff side. So as you can see, I was already signed in to my Facebook site so it knew exactly what Facebook profile to attach this to. So now it says publish the story to your Facebook wall and your friends and your friends home pages. And then it just populates with the information that we had populated within the staff side. As you can see what's on your mind. Then we have this box is the message box. And then we have this is the title box. And if I click on this it would take me to eventsolutions.com. So that was the link. And then we have the other detailed information and this person can go ahead and select publish and that will publish to their Facebook site. The same would be when they're posting a review or even a log entry so it would do the exact same thing. It would ask if they want to publish to their actual Facebook site. If you have any further questions please contact our support area at support at Thank you.